Hey guys, this is Brooke Taylor from Hot 1079. Um, this is my first video for Brooke's Hot Tips, and I'm going to teach you how to do this to your hair. Okay, so first you are going to need a hairbrush, a curling iron, a hair tie. First you're going to do is part a section, so you want to take the top half of your hair and just throw it on top of your head. You can clip it or you can use a hair tie like me. Basically it's going to take one inch sections probably about, say like that size, about one inch. And you're going to start curling away from your face. So you're just going to take a curling iron, hold it up like this, and you're just going to wrap the hair around the curling iron. And you're probably going to hold it on, my hair takes about 15 seconds a strand. Um, if you have really, really thick hair, you might have to do it longer, thinner hair, more fine hair, you probably do it for like 5 or 10 seconds, but mine takes about 15 seconds per strand. And let it go, and it looks a little something like this. And on the bottom, the bottom half of my hair, I like to do curls every other way. So do away from your face, and then one towards your face, and then just keep kind of alternating. And I forgot to mention, it really, really works a lot better. I know it sounds weird if you have dirty hair, so don't wash your hair for a day, and then do it, and it's gonna stay a lot longer. Take um, another section of your hair and just pull it up. Again, like so. And then we're gonna do the same thing. Now, like the first layer, you're gonna do the very front part you wanna do away from your face and then kinda alternate every other one just so that all the curls don't fall into each other. They kinda like stick out and it makes it a lot, like you get a lot more body and it stays more full. All right, part numero dos is finished. So now we move on to section three. All right, so basically this is like the most important section because obviously it's on the top and everybody sees it. So um, just part your hair where you normally do. Mine's right around here. And you are going to, everything in the front area right here, you want to do away from your face so it doesn't look weird. Um, but everything on top here, I like to do the opposite way, like towards my face because I feel like it makes a lot more like body and like volume up here. So um, this is how you do it. Okay, so on this part, I like to start from the back um, and do basically work from the back forward just because I feel like it's easier and um, you can kind of frame your face the most when you know what you're working with in the front, if that makes any sense, which it kind of doesn't, but this is how I do it. Alright, so in the back, like I said, I like to go towards my face, so wrap it towards your face and then just uh, keep on doing that until you get to the front. Okay, so now I'm to the very front, um, and these are the ones that you want to do away from your face. So you're just going to take the same one inch little sections that you've been doing before and um, twirl them outwards away from your face. So that way, I don't know, it just doesn't look weird. And you're just going to do the same thing. So, like, ta da! Um, and what I like to do is just kind of so they're not so. I don't know, ring, ring, curly. Um, run your fingers through it a couple times. You can brush it if you want. Um, I just like to run my fingers through it a couple times. You can, you know, pull half this back up like this. Put a headband in. Anything you want, really. But that's all you do. All right. So hopefully that taught you how to do this. Maybe. Hopefully. Um, if you have any comments, questions, or anything, leave them down there. Um, if you have a tutorial or a, a tip that you um, maybe want me to help you with, um, leave them down there as well. Find me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter. You can also listen to me on Hot 1079 from 10 to 2, Monday through Friday.